don't know what you're doing. Shit. Oh, we just replaced the O2. rear O2 rear O2 O2 sensor. O2 sensor. The the downstream one. Yeah, played. just because his he had a check engine light, but thankfully it was something small, so we went ahead and switched that out. But he is having a bit of rubbing on the inner fender, so we're gonna go ahead and cut that. I've already cut. So no check engine, now you're not rubbing, because we cut it off. The only off. thing, we were making the joke earlier, we were about reading the sensor, about it just saying, you're fucked, or <laughs> just like, your transmission fucked, or, I don't know, it was just, we were yeah. scared, like, I was like scared, but I was like, at the same time, the en engine light came on, but it didn't feel any different, and yeah. I was just like, it's probably some sensor, or some shit, yeah, which we it looked was. it up, it was some sensor. And they have some, some BS one, I'm like, let me show you, where'd you put it? It's over there on the side. Look at this shit. what is this? cut wires and stuff like not the way to go oh man i just wore this shirt the last time i filmed ah, you look like a <laughs> <laughs> so this is a totally different day it's been like a week since don't i filmed. Lie, it's the same it thing. is fool no, it's been a week let me talk to him no <laughs> what we're doing now is christopher it's his day off too so it's good he came down here so we could check out what his check engine light is he that? said it wasn't driving weird he said it was still driving normal so i figured it was something small which when i put the obd2 sense uh obd2 reader it came up as the rear uh o2 i think it's p p0136 i think that was the code no it was definitely not r p0136 i think that was the code so then I inputted it, told us it was rear, it was the rear O2. As soon as I looked at the rear O2 and I saw how it looked, which I just showed you guys. Yeah, I already knew. Okay, yeah, this is for sure the what's what's causing that check engine light to turn on. I'm not a mechanic, but like something small like that, I mean, I don't really need a mechanic to tell us. It, it, facts <laughs> we're mexican exactly but last week i went down to this little uh some dudes on instagram that i follow that have a jeep they posted that they were at this it's not a trail because like i said we live in the ie there's not like closest thing to us is cleghorn and i don't want to drive to cleghorn we go to Mount Bali if really want to, or Big Bear, um but, like, yeah it's just too far so this one is 12 minutes away from my house exactly 12 and it's not too far and it really wasn't that bad it had some dope views too so we'll be able to test it out see if it's rubbing anymore and then hopefully his uh Check engine light doesn't turn on in the next hour or so. Uh, so yeah. Mondo did already test out the trail. It's kind of good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not showing you what he just did. All right, we'll catch up to y'all. We're gonna head out. All right. Go pro it is. All right, you ready to check if your truck sucks or not? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. Cool, I got y'all in the car. Um, I'm filming on my iPhone, just it's easier. I don't have to have a you know, big camera in my hand. We're on our way to this short little, I guess you can call it trail, quote unquote trail. That's not what like real trail people would probably call it. They'll probably just be like, dude, what is this? Is this like my backyard? Which, I'm sorry y'all, we don't have anything crazy in here. So we're not trying to drive 45 minutes out to go to something. When in reality, this is more than enough to test out his suspension, see if he has any more rubbing going on that we need to cut, um, really anything of that sort. So um, this should be good enough. This, you know, I actually really like this place. It's super cool. And all right, all right, just like that, we're out here. Very close. I'm sure Chris will tell you right now how close this place is. It's good to test out everything. So if you want to run it, let's go. All right, cool. Back on the back in the Jeep. It's all very simple. I'm gonna go right here. Oh my God, I slid in the rear. This is doing fine over there, yep. This one is. I'm just talking now. <laughs> nice. Oh, okay. All right. 
He got over that fairly easily, so I think from here on out he should be good. Doing good. Can y'all tell I'm nervous for my son? Whew. I hate, I hate feeling like I'm going sideways. Y'all be able to see it in the camera too. That, that feeling is not, definitely pucker up a bit. I'm not gonna lie to you, brother. I know he feels scared. Oh yeah, he's riding that wall too. He's sketchy. My boy, pull off. All right, then you go here. Like I said, this isn't anything crazy. This isn't Holcomb Valley, it's nothing crazy like that. So it's just, like I said, we already, you know, it's a good test to see exactly where he's at. What he probably needs to fix. And his Xterra, I'm not gonna lie, it was newer too, but honestly, I like the Forerunner more. I like the platform of a Forerunner more than the Xterra. The exterior was cool though. It was cool because it was something different. And it looked good too. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I liked it. At first I did it. And then it grew on me. Foreigners though. I personally will get one. So y'all see it. We're going directly up at this point. Directly up. Let me sit back so you guys can kind of get a gist of this. I'm going directly up. But I, like I said, I've done it before. Okay, good stuff. Ooh. Nice. Uh-oh, uh-oh. How much did you pucker up there? Oh, I didn't know. Bullshit! No, that was easy. That was actually like easy. The line was really clear. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, good, yeah. Clear, that, okay. But can I, when you saw from down there, were you sketched out? I was. A little bit. I, I was on camera, I was recording, and I was like, this camera does not do it any justice. No, that's what I'm trying to say. Is this camera does not. Because this is the first test, like, first time seeing what we need to do to, like, really get it up and going. I just want to share, though. Um, I had no issues coming up here. All right, so since he got through that, he's slipping over there. All right, Chris, so that just proves everything we just did right now just proves that we don't need an expensive vehicle in order to go off running. So Chris, my question for you is, um, you just got this truck. What was the reason for you wanted to get this? Why did you get this? Why did you not get a Jeep? Why did you not get a Tacoma? Why did you not get whatever Xterra again? Like we, you came from an Xterra. What made you get the Forerunner? Um, uh, I already knew, already kind of already knew that obviously Yoda gang, it has a, such a big following for a reason, Toyotas in general, and also the old school Forerunners. So I was like, yeah, might as well. Can't get a Jeep right now. Wasn't in the heart of the cards. Tried didn't work out so i was like okay well let's go to the next best option in my opinion some might even think it is the best option or too. even the best option you know which i won't disagree it's i really like forerunners nice. yeah um check catch me a month from now with like all the yoda gang merchandise just so corny every day. <laughs> you're so corny what what are your plans for this build um i just want to share we go camping Overlanding. Yeah, we, same shit. That's so corny. Overlanding, camping, same thing. Um, we go camping though. We don't we don't do trails like that. I mean, this is fun. Don't get me wrong, but like, I'm not really worried about like. Let me go get, get some long arm suspension. Maybe down the line, but yeah, this thing's fun. Um, all we need is something to get to you know a situation like this. 
Um, if this was not a suburban area where there were homes here and this is more secluded from a city, this would probably be actually a pretty cool. There's only a farm right there. Yeah, this is, there is. And this would be a cool spot to camp in, right? Mm -hmm. um, so that's all we need. I, like, this just share. Like, you don't need something so crazy. And the reason it took so long and, like, for me to get up here, oh, it's way longer, way harder than you. It's just because it's this first is time. the first time in that car. So next time, I'll just mob up it. <laughs> so. Yeah, so, so what, what are the plans for the build? What do you want to do? Uh, fixing the, I want to fix the pillar because the pillar is a little dented. It has like a damage. A lot on of wind it, yeah. noise whenever I drive. It's a bit annoying. Um, after that, probably do the paint. Uh, around that time, I'll probably already have the bumpers too. So I'll have the bumpers. Um, I already have the winch in my garage. I already have the Baja lights in my garage. Just hooking those up. Get the switch pod, hook them all up too. But yeah, so. Pretty, that's pretty much it. Get the Prinzu rack, obviously, and then eventually get the uh, rooftop tent, the one that we, the one that you found. Yeah. See through, mm -hmm. see through top. That that shit's cool. I haven't tried them yet. Nah, I what I'm very excited for this build, like the one thing I'm very pumped for, is the bodywork and getting it painted. Cause I already know the color. And we're not we're not gonna share y'all until it comes out. We're still stuck between two, but either one is gonna be nice it's gonna look good i'm very excited like i really like forerunners xterra don't get me wrong it did grow on me but that's something i definitely would not get this i would get 100 would get there was no small market yeah there was no aftermarket them, so it's like all that shit that i wanted to buy like for like say you get it for a jeep or a foreigner it's just that much more expensive that or no one makes it so you'd have to get it all custom made so yeah it's, exactly now having a foreigner everyone has a fucking foreigner my light back there is twitching okay. all right y'all Get on out of here. Um, Bajas, for those of you guys that don't have any, um, I know it sounds like, I feel like when people get trucks and stuff, immediately they're like, oh, throw a light bar, especially a Jeep. Um, I mean, I definitely think lighting is good. Like, I mean, Bajas are quite expensive, but there's a reason for it. Um, and I really, really do think they, they're fantastic. I mean, you could see, this is kinda, this shows you more than enough, right? Like, this right here shows you, like this is, they're very helpful, very, very helpful. Um, in fact, like I know uh, the rock lights, like I definitely wanna get some just cause that cap, that would be so much help too. So I would say getting some rock lights would be very, very cool and helpful. But we're on our way out of here. Like I said, very, very easy, very easy trail. Nothing crazy here. Um, we're out of here. Was it scarier come up or coming down? It was a little bit scary coming down. I'm not gonna lie, huh? Going, going up was not. Going down? Uh. So this is just a shakedown of Chris's truck. Um, this is just the beginning. All he has done, for those of you guys who don't know, is he built Bilstein's, uh, he has springs, he has uh, 33s, 33 inch, I don't know if it's all terrain or terrain, but one of those two. And he was able to do everything I can, and uh, he was comfortable in it. So, just shows, man, you don't need anything crazy. Just get something for my four. Get on the way, get, get a few mods done, and you'll be able to do just as much as I, you know, I could possibly do, and uh, maybe even more. Super excited to have this build part of the channel. So, uh, thanks for joining. Uh, you know, if you do like the video, if you want to see more videos of Chris's uh, Chris's Forerunner and my Jeep and us wheeling and overlanding, hit that subscribe button. Uh, I do, you know, I've been trying to post as consistent as possible. I am not on a crazy schedule. I'm just posting. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to uh, all the road trips. See ya.